What does it feel like to be free? All of us have the privilege that we live. If you're, watch, if you're on the internet right now, you have more privilege, more opportunity than 99.99999% of people who've ever lived on the planet. Half the world today lives on less than $2 a day. Half the world today lives on less than $2 a day. The average median income is about $10,000 a year. If you include all the, the financially poor people, all the financially rich people. Notice I said financially, between poor and rich, because just because you've got much money doesn't mean you're poor. Just because you've got a lot of money doesn't mean you're fucking rich. I know plenty of people who are raking in the cash, raking in the cash, who in my opinion are very poor emotionally, spiritually, maybe even physically in their health conditions. They don't look after their health. So we have so much opportunity to really be who we want to be. I'd rather be hated for who I am than loved for who I'm not. My audience, my audience, are, what, are they, what are they? They're really critical thinkers. They're pretty fucking switched on people. They're people who can go spots on, oh yeah, obviously you're on steroids, you know, obviously yeah, you're a fake bitch or you're a fake fuck or you know, you're a handbag basic or you, you're a YouTube fake basic. They're, that's the sort of people I have. I'm not going for a large audience because a large audience is, that serves a purpose, but it means that you're going for dumb fucks and then you have to be a dumb fuck to appeal to these people. I would rather create leaders than have followers. I would rather give people templates and lifestyle and be a bit controversial or be honest and upfront versus be fake as fuck, have to jump cut every few seconds to go and look at my script that I pre-wrote with the intention of, well, what is this audience gonna think of me now? I'm not here to worry about what you think of me. I'm here to give, to share my mission with you. Look how much freedom I have, financially, geographically, emotionally, physically. Now, a lot of it's due because I was born in a certain country, Australia. You know, if I was born in Uganda, Rwanda, or Bangladesh to a single mum, I was born to a single mum, would I have the same opportunities I have? No, I wouldn't. Could I still succeed at creating a better life for myself? Potentially, yes. But it's a lot easier for us people who have SS internet. So whenever you corral around in your life trying to impress people by being something you're not, you rob yourself of living the life that you deserve. You're, left, you're worth living your life purpose. And with all this society, it's about, a friend said yes the other day, she said, uh, to compare is to despair. We compare each other. How many subs do you get? How many views do you get last than 30 days? How many likes do you get? How many comments do you get? I don't chase people for comments or subs or whatever. I don't even chase people anymore. I just put out as much content as I can and let people decide what the fuck they want to do with it. Someone says, oh, I don't oh, I'm natural, I don't take steroids. Pay me during order $10,000 to prove that I'm not on steroids. Let me do one test I can prepare for and, and cycle off my gear and then test clean. And then you can pay me $10,000, make an apology and shut up. No motherfuckers. All you fake natties out there, let's see you do monthly fucking dope tests. Let's see you do it. Random controlled studies of drugs. Random controlled doping controls, I should say. Let's see you all do it. None of you would fucking do it. You want me to prove you're innocent? Motherfuckers, you're getting on stage taking your shirt off and saying, I'm fucking full nutty bra. You fucking prove it, motherfuckers. I'm not your fucking daddy. Fuck, what next? I'll wipe your ass for you? Again, I'd rather be just a genuine person sharing my stuff. If people want to take me out of context so they can appeal to more handbag basics or more YouTube basics or just haters or whatever, then so be it. What irritates me and what I'm passionate about defending myself is when people make slanderous claims or whatever. Anyone, I don't give a fuck if you walk up in the street and say, Do you you're a dickhead. You're a skinny motherfucking fucker. I don't really give a fuck at all. That's your opinion or whatever. But when people want to slander and try and destroy my reputation in the community, I work so hard every day to create, to build, to strengthen, to expand, to unite. Nobody's at my level on social media is going to stop and you know, fix someone's flat tire or say, hey, look, I can't fix it now, but there's a bike shop down there. Go down there. This is what you need. Boom, boom, boom. And next time, carry a spare. No, they're just going to go, no worries, mate. See you later. Bye. Nice talking to you. Do you want a selfie? No, okay, got to go. This is a community that I build. My community, I want to create leaders, people who go and get shit done. Yeah, a lot of people that I help get their fucking head up, they become haters in the end or whatever. But, eh, who cares? What they've done, though, is they've made communities of, of themselves and bringing more money to the vegan economy. Maybe their behavior, I wouldn't say, is really legit, but it serves a purpose. They're getting shit done. So I would rather be the person just being me, being Harley, being Duranada, being Harley Johnstone, being who I am, 
Just being me, regardless of what the fucking name you want to call me, just being me, I'd rather be hated for that than love for being one of these shiny motherfucking jump cut motherfucking fake natties or whatever. I love you guys. Bullshit you do. I'm just, you know, no, 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 you're not. You're fake, you're a fraud, that's just how it is. My audience can spot that a mile away. My audience are critical thinkers. You see what's going on. Realize, realize, realize. Real eyes, realize, real lies. And this truth, sharing the truth, sharing what I've experienced, what other people have experienced, that creates filters. Because when you say such and such, when you drop a truth bomb, that creates like this filter effect where it just, it's like a, a little atomic wave and it just, it just repels the shit cunts out of your life or the people who are just emotionally not aware or, or they're just the, just the flakes. It just pushes them away when you drop truth bombs. So continue dropping truth bombs. Is that your work or wherever? And you might, I can't do that. Financially, I might get penalised. Fuck it, man. I would rather live back on welfare, homeless, on the street, looking at spiders and helping grasshoppers across the road than fucking just being another fake, shiny motherfucker on the internet. And that's the freedom I have, man. So I'm not jealous of anyone because I don't know anybody on the planet right now. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, who has more freedom to truly express who they are. If you know anyone who has more freedom just to really just say it, how they feel it, how they see it, let me know because I want to fucking go and hang out with them and learn from them. Thanks for your support. Don't love you guys because I don't even fucking know yous, but I appreciate that you take time out of your day to come and watch my shit and hopefully there's some insights that you can take and create your own template to help you help yourself make this world a better place for me, for you, for the animals and the planet. Cheers.